right down the street in the distance, almost resembling the Wizard of Oz's tower. Just an incredible sight from the state capitol. Is another incredible building. We're going to go closer to that and see it up close. So as we get closer to this, you can start to see that it has just the same type of detail and incredible architecture as the white marble capital a couple blocks away. This is St. Paul's Cathedral at St. Paul, Minnesota. Said to have started to be built in 1907 and completed in 1914. Well, you be the judge of that also. But what we're gonna do is get up close where you can see that's an entirely metal roof. And the sun, of course, is setting, so it's hard to see some from this side, but we'll go around and see what we can see. But that's a metal roof with columns on the top. And in the case of it having been there much longer than that, the cross at the top would have been added. It's said, and many people think, that these were never meant for religious purposes, but they were rather like power generating locations. You'll find that in these structures all over the world, they always have a window that mirrors creation, the DNA, the windows, uh, cymatic patterns, and, and which go along with sound and the structure of the energy of, of that. And also they were filled with usually large organs to create noise, thereby creating a type of resonant energy. It's a study in itself and very interesting but notice that every different so-called religion now around the world has all been left with these same same buildings almost the same architecture they don't believe on anything but they all believe on exact the same architecture well that would be the case if they were repurposed and called that after the fact and in fact they were built according to the laws and structure of a god through the body of jesus christ in the um, in the reign of the saints which gives him that similar structure all over the world you'll see that same fence at the top that's commanded to be put there in the Bible in Deuteronomy 22 8 and you can go read that and that's what gives classic architecture uh, the look of what's called classic architecture it's actually godly architecture and resonates with the the laws that God set down in nature and so that's what's so amazing about these they're so glorious compared to the square boxes that are built today which have been called by many brutalist architecture because they're brutal and they make you feel as such this great art this great architecture would be something that God would have created and been a part of creation and a part of him thereby you being a creation, you'd resonate with that and it would make you feel just unbelievable. Now we're going to get around to this side where we have some direct sunlight and you can really see 
what was done here at a time they claim was horse and buggy but i think you know anything done during that time would have been just refurbishing what the saints already did you can see up on top that the, that that metal is completely has a patina but the cross doesn't and what those structures on top many of these buildings are are actually an antenna type structure that has another uh, purpose altogether but just looking at the architecture of this from a time 130 years ago and you see each and every uh, brick window detail is perfect the method of getting anything done like that nowadays uh, would be impossible you, they build buildings like this in the distance but that's just a giant steel glass tower with thin facade walls put on the outside and very nondescript when we're looking at this there's nothing nondescript about this and just an incredible incredible accomplishment and right down the street from the massive marble structure right there that just glimmers and shines in the distance many people think that these were homes for the saints just as it says in the bible that the lord would prepare a mansion for them well during his thousand year millennium kingdom this would have been that. The interesting thing to note is many castles around the world and buildings like this originally had no heat and had no restrooms. And so why is that? Well, in the Bible, it's talked about them having glorified bodies. And in those bodies, there wouldn't have been need for that. Those are facts. Study about the castles, all the castles in Europe, and you will find that they did not have climate control heat. They didn't have restrooms, no bathrooms, no way to do that inside. And all the ones that have been put there are makeshift, been done after the fact. As I step inside the incredible architecture and extravagance of this, I really can't be captured by the camera because like I said when it's made properly you're gonna resonate with it yourself so it's also a feeling of it and you notice there's domes in each side structure But then there's a massive center dome at the top. And amazing columns. Marble. Just one of the most grand structures on the inside. So this dome is one of the largest in the world. The St. Paul Cathedral at St. Paul, Minnesota. And I would imagine the organ 
that I had mentioned is the same. 